What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and welcome to episode 9 of Mining Rig Wars. The previous winner, you can go check yourself, but this is going to be pre-recorded, so I'm not quite sure who it was. That being said, there were some fantastic rigs from last week, and this week we have some more fantastic rigs that you guys should enjoy, so stick around. Welcome back. So if you guys want to support the channel and this show, it's super simple. You can actually just head on over to coins.sonofatech.com, pick your favorite cryptocurrency and start mining to one of our pools. We keep our pool fees low at 0.5% wherever possible. There are a few coins outliers that don't allow going below 1% at least on the front ends that we are using. We're, we're trying to find some other ways to handle that. But for now, those are just Verge and Vert. The rest of them are, are at 0.5%. Without further ado, let's talk about the entries for this week. All right, so starting things off, we have Rig A called Anton by Anton. So we have the triple A rig going on here. He is featuring the Intel i5-6400 with 16 gigs of RAM and two MSI 1070 Gaming X editions. He has the Cooler Master V850 80 plus gold power supply and 120 gigabyte Western Digital solid state drive, all in the Antec X1-T case. It does look like he has the mining cards sitting outside of the case with a nice little 120 millimeter fan, putting some passive air past those. That's not right. Oh well, sounds good enough. <laughs> the total hash rate is 60 mega hash a second. I would assume and let us know in the comment section below that you are also dual using this for a gaming rig. What games are you into, etc. We'd like to know. Moving on to rig B, we have Girly Rig by Mary. And by Girly Rig, we mean apparently a cowboy hat, some stuffed animals, some necklaces and pearls, etc on, I don't know if it's like an old vanity. No, not all, not an old vanity, uh, but it's just a, a, a shoe rack, it looks like, it looks like. All right, so I just figured it out. It's a beef jerky display rack, there you go, with three EVGA GTX 1080 Ti's, one GTX for the win 1080 Ti by EVGA GA once again, two EVGA 850 watt BQ power supplies, a Celeron G3900, and one stick of HyperX DDR4 with an ASUS Z270A motherboard. Of course, she has the standard risers and a Samsung 120 gigabyte SSD. The total hash rate is 129 mega hash a second. And this has been one of the more creative rigs I've had submitted, so I love seeing this kind of thing. It's pretty slick. Moving on, we have Rig C Pro Miner by Jerry. He's got a massive setup going on here with some custom open air frames. And here we go through the long list of parts. He has a Power Color Red Dragon RX 470, a Power Color RX 470 Base Edition. He's got seven MSI Radeon RX 470s, the Armor Editions, eight gigabytes, with four GeForce GTX 1060 Amp Editions. And then moving on, he has the TacLife EM02 Classic Power Master Energy, Watt Voltage Amps, Electricity Usage Monitor Tester, with overload warning LCD display for saving energy. I don't know why I kept just reading that. I just felt like doing it. But we've also got the Micron uh, memory at eight gigabytes total, 2133. And then an Intel seventh gen Celeron processor, the G3930 to be specific, with an ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. So he also went with the HP power supplies, the ProLiant DL580 PSUs, the 1200 watts, and has the breakout boards to go with them. This is a very good way and uh, efficient way to power your GPUs. And if you guys haven't checked out my video on that, 
be sure to check it out in how to build a mining rig slash crypto playlist here. He didn't actually give us his total hash rate. I'll put it up in the corner if he does respond with it to my email. I'm assuming it's quite a lot. Moving on, we have Rig D Mining Rig 7 by Maximilian. And it's a very clean looking build. I do like it when they put the LEDs on there. I wanna see RGB LEDs on these open air rigs. It would be kind of fun. But we have an i3-7100 with the Asus Z270A Prime with eight gigabytes of DDR4 from HyperX. The Kingston SSD solid state drive and running on Windows 10. Might eventually switch to Linux, he notes, but for now, Windows is what he uses. I'm kind of feeling you on that. It really depends on what coin you're mining is what I come to find out most of the time. Also, if you have a rig that's mixed cards, AMD and Nvidia, it seems a lot harder or more difficult to move to a Linux system for a few caveats that I can mention when I actually get into talking about it in a later video. That being said, his total hash rate is 260 mega hash a second. Next and finally, we have Rig E called House Fire, greatest name so far, in my personal opinion, by John. The parts include an AMD FX8120 that he is mining XMR with, a Gigabyte 990 FXA motherboard with four gigabytes of G-Skill RAM and two R9 290s. If you want to mine XMR on a budget, you can actually find these FX chips pretty cheap and they are pretty good at mining XMR. So keep that in mind. Also, thanks for giving us that uh, talking point there, John. Fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode nine of Mining Rig Wars. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and always remember to vote for your favorite rig up here in the corner. Just click the explanation point and select your favorite rig, A through E. If you'd like to submit your rig, please click the submissions link in the description below and use my Amazon affiliate link to support me. Like I said before, you can also support us to mining one of our pools that you can find at coins.sonofattack.com. I will see you next Tuesday.